Hi everyone, welcome again to our second session of Jira. Here, I will show you how to create a project in Jira and give you detailed instruction how we'll add the configuration or detail contained while creating a project. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for further updates. Let's understand today's agenda. So, I will give you detailed structure what is project in Jira, how to create a project, detailed setup which we will do that now and how to delete the project whenever by mistake it's added inside our organization repository. So let's move to the practical content. First of all, whenever we are working with project, there is something in mind what is project how we are dealing with any organizations. So let's take an example. If end user wants to build any specific project and they want to make it publish for end user or for the customer, they will provide the requirement with any organizations. Based on their requirement, organization will collaborate each team and make them work for them. So, whatever requirement we have received, is they will think about the name of the project and based on the name, they will add the software name here that is called as project in Jira. So, once you log in uh, in Jira, you are able to see several components are available if you have opted it. But if you have only access on Jira software, then you will see this. Once you will click on here, you are able to see project list available here. So whatever project you have created, this is available inside your project list. But if you want to create your new project, just click on create project and it will navigate to choose project type. Which type of project you are working is like that. So if you can see here, classic project and next generation project is available. Next generation project represent a remix Jira software cloud built from the ground up. It will have less functionality or feature inside that as compared to classic project. Because classic project represent the Jira software has always been known for and there are for long term Jira fans who wants to stick with they will love this one. So you have to select this you will see different features available in the body of templates. So, we are moving ahead with select classic project. Here you have to provide the project name. So, Jira Demo Project 2. Throughout the session, we are going to use this one as for complete Jira tutorial. Post that, you are able to see this type of structure is available. So, you can change the template according to your requirement. So let me show you these type of templates are available. You have Kanban chart, Scrum. We are definitely going to discuss these things in further part. You can change this business to software here as well. Import your work also possible. So we are moving ahead with Scrum because we are going to follow Agile methodology while explaining the uh, Jira tutorial from scratch to expert level. So select, you can also select whatever you, based on your requirement, but I am going ahead with this scrum one. Click on create. Yeah, I forgot to mention the key. Key we are using for the automation perspective or you can use it for short name of your project. Once you will create the project, inside that your dashboard will be available. There is nothing inside that because of that it's not showing anything. But when we will move further part, you are able to see different contents are added inside that. So let's understand these dashboards. So before moving to this, uh, here there is a create button is available. This is for creating a defect. So once you will click on that, the defect page will be available and is it inside this project because we are right now in Jira demo project 2 that is JDP 2 you can change this here I've already created one of the session 
while uh, for creating defect how to create defect if you are very much interested on in creating defect please watch my previous video i will also mention in description tab now you can see here uh, share button is also if you want to share the project detail with someone else outside the organization or inside the organization you are okay to do that by these these methods board settings is also available when you click on the board setting different contents are available you can create the columns uh, swim lanes uh, quick filters card all colors these all options are available for you then open issue sidebar a hide epic labels and print card these will definitely discuss in further part of gr session so don't worry about that your work what is your work right now inside my credential you can see different projects are available but if you are individual being you will definitely see what is project whatever project is assigned to your name but i am the owner of uh, this login credential because of that i am able to see each and every project the same types of settings are having for your admin login credentials as well so if you want to view any specific project click on projects you are able to see all the projects are available here project settings so here you can do your project settings like a url project type project category if you want to change your uh, project icon or you want to provide the descriptions you can add it and save once you click on save that whatever detail you have updated everything will be updated inside this filter so right now there is nothing available because of that filter will own work for you so dashboards or different dashboards you can create it so if you want to create your own dashboard for a specific project you just have to click on create dashboards enter the details descriptions and if you want to make it public or group a uh, number of people you can select group number of people or uh, with all the organizations as a public for everyone or if you want to keep the private for some specific number of person or you want to view it only for you you can use it private functionality now people there are several people are available in here so you can start your building your team so if you you have no or you are the scrum master you want to create uh, or you want to include specific number of people from different teams like five count from developer two from the testing team one from the product owner side something like that you can start building your team here a part of that if you can jump to this one there are several contents are available here you can do this automation summary if you have summary of your project whatever issue types you have you can view it from here inside this project and so these all are already grabbed here but if you want to add edit you can edit it from here issue layout is also available you can view the issue layout workflows workflow is also predefined but if you want to change it you can code deployment structures versions so version will definitely cover in further sessions uh, so in detail how to create the version and how to assign it screens are also available fields code so these all functionality will definitely discuss each and every thing in detail uh, in further sessions so if you want to change the project you just have to click from here or back to project you are able to see each and every detail uh, for changing project you can select it from here but for each and every component like project settings add items if you want to add folder shortcuts repository pages you can do that from here project pages if you want to create your own project pages you can create it product, like a product requirement document decisions meeting notes retrospectives these all are possible to create here components so if you want to create your own component you can edit it or create it from here for generating reports 
so report is having different type of structure like burn down chart form up chart sprint report uh, version report we'll definitely discuss each and everything is detail in further part so don't worry about that continue to watch the complete series of jira so back to our project backlogs if you have any backlogs pending for you and if feature is still not implemented or created you can see it backlog from here roadmap so if you have roadmap defined for a specific project or you want to define it you can do it from here if you want to see the today's roadmap or view settings you can do that if you want to export the complete roadmap you can export it month wise as well or date wise as well if you want to give feedback you can do it weekly monthly quarterly each and every detail is available in jira because of that i said jira is a very advanced tool which we are using for any specific project so that's all about creating project so if you want to delete it your project view all project uh, go to view all project then select from here uh, and if you want to move any specific project from here just click on move to trash your project will be related or move to trash automatically so this is basically required when we are working with any specific project and we want to create some pages or anything and by mistake one of the project is added in the project uh, repository you can delete it at any point of time so that's all about creating project and setting up detailed structure in further session definitely will cover some more point so keep tune on pressing bell icon so that whenever i will upload any new topic on jira you will get notified thank you for watching